One of these young ladies is Miss Universe, 1966. What is your name, please? My name is Apostola Honsukura. My name is Apostola Honsukura. My name is Apostola Honsukura. Only one of these young ladies is the real Apostola Honsukura. The other two are imposters and will try to fool this panel. Tom Poston, Peggy Cass, Orson Bean, and Kitty Carlisle on To Tell the Truth. To Tell the Truth is brought to you this evening by a new Polyden tablet, the powerful new denture cleanser tablets to keep your breath fresh, keep your smile bright and natural. And now, here's your host, Bud Collier. Thank you very much, and welcome once again to To Tell the Truth. Good evening, Bud. Good evening, Bud. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> Open up that envelope and follow along with me on this first story, if you will. I, Apostola Hong Sakula, was the first girl from Thailand ever to enter the Miss Universe beauty pageant. One reason I entered the contest was to help the world know and learn about my country and her people. Before I left, the Queen of Thailand summoned me to her chambers and personally instructed me in how to walk with dignity and grace. She also designed my hairstyle. Her Majesty's royal touch must have given me luck because in competition with young ladies from 70 countries all over the world, I was chosen Miss Universe. Not bad for a girl whose nickname as a baby was Pook, which in the Thai language means fat. Signed, Apasara Hongsakula. <laughs> These three lovely young ladies all claim to be Apasara Hongsakula. We'll start the questioning, if we may, with Tom Poston. Tom? They're all so gorgeous. Mm. Uh, number two, they, you're, there were contestants from all over the world for Miss Universe. Is that true? Yes. Any place from anywhere else? <laughs> you mean like the moon? Well, uh, it says universe. Uh, number two, what is Thai, uh, Thailand famous for? Right. And beautiful girls. Number yeah. one, please. I have a, a little uh, bell on, on my carry on my keyring that comes from China. I don't know if you can see that or not. That little bell. What's the significance of these little bells that uh, that are in Thailand? Come from Thailand. Number one, please. Do you know what do they mean? Those little bells. Oh, the little bell. In Thailand. It's for the in the temple. In the temple. Ah, yes. I see. Thank you. Peggy well, can here then in that case. Uh, yes. Thank you very much. Uh, tell me, number three, where was the Miss Universe contest held? In Miami. Thank you. And uh, number one, what is the name of the Queen of Thailand? Queen Sirikit. Thank you. And uh, number two, how did you lose all that weight? Oh. I mean, your name was Pook before, but it's thin now. I mean, did you go on a diet? No, it's just loose by nature. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, number three, what did you do, what was your job before you became Miss Universe? I just studied at a school. In Thailand? Yes. Orson Bean. Number two there, uh, which famous city in your country has canals? Bangkok. Oh, it was an easy question, wasn't it? <laughs> now, there's a little hotel in Bangkok on one of these side canals. No, I wanna... no, no, I, no, it's a family no. show. I don't want to go into the details. Number one, uh, <laughs> being Miss Universe means you are through ever entering any other beauty contest. You have no more worlds to conquer. If they asked you to be Miss Shreveport, it would be a come down, <laughs> right? All right. <laughs> it's not really a question, is it, dear? <laughs> oh, I, uh, number three, tell me about yourself. Kitty Carlisle. Number three, how were you chosen? How were you chosen? How did they find you to be Miss Universe? Was there a contest in, in your country? Yes. A contest? Contest in my country. Uh, number one, what did Queen Siriki tell you to do when, she, when you were walking? Name dropper. <laughs> <laughs> she advised me how to walk. How, what did she tell you? By the, one of the ladies in the palace. 
went to teach me how to walk, and then I went to see her in Paris, and walk and show her. And he said, okay. Oh, that's lovely. Number two, what is King Fumibol? Is that his name? King, King, the King of Fumibol. Fumibol. What is his specialty? Does he play an instrument? Yes. What is it? Clarinet. Thank you. That's it. Time for you now to mark your ballot. So mark them, panel, without any consultation whatsoever and without any changing once you have marked. Just vote now for number one, number two, or number three. And our team of challengers will, of course, receive $250 for every incorrect vote. Are the ballots all marked? They are. All right, Tom, for whom did you vote? I really had a difficult time. When you put three beautiful girls like that in front of me, it's difficult for me to concentrate on. But uh, I just took a chance that number one's hairstyle might have been designed by Queen Srijit, so I voted for number one. Peggy. Well, I voted for number one. I love the idea of going to Paris for walking lessons. So. <laughs> Orson Bean. I voted for number one as well because she has the flashing eyes of a contest winner. They're all exquisite, but uh, I noticed that contest winners have flashing eyes, dancing eyes. Kitty Carlisle. She didn't go to Paris for walking lessons. She went to the palace. <laughs> <laughs> Was she charity in place? <laughs> It was so chic. So I voted for number three. I thought it walked like a beauty contest winner. They were all absolutely ravishing. Very well, there we have it. With the votes all in and the minds made up. That's all right, Kitty. Don't worry about it. We'll find out now which one of these three young ladies, in truth, is Apastara Hongsakula. Will the real Apastara Hongsakula please stand up? Thank you. Well, you almost had it unanimous there, but not quite. Number two, what is your real name and what do you really do? My name is Kaylin Lu. I teach children ballet. And number three, what is your real name and what do you do? My name is Ruby Shi. I have a gay shop in Taipei, Formosa. Thank you, and in checking the score, we find there was one incorrect vote, and that's worth... Yes. I have a unique... Because uh, it's too late to disqualify myself. When Miss Lou uh, introduced herself, I remember her name now. I've met her at ballet school several times. When you were a child? Hmm. No, no, no. She said she teaches children ballet. I was a child before she was born. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid we'll have to let it go just the way it was, unfortunately. Uh, what am I... I had my hair done before. Oh, you did? I see. Did you see Tom before? How was he at ballet? Yeah, was no. he any good at ballet? No, I remember. Ah, Maybe now she remembers. So you're the one that was no good. All right. Two hundred and fifty dollars, and thank you very much for being with us, ladies. You really graced our evening most beautifully. Good night, and God bless you. You know, you pleaded so poignantly, Tom, that I, inasmuch as there was a possibility of you might maybe having something for me to there, I'm going to say that there'll be an extra 250 uh, by disqualification, uh, and I'll get $500. Big